Black media, to me, is the most effective weapon in the war for social justice. My name is Detavio Samuels. I'm a CEO. I'm a spokesperson. I'm a fierce champion for Black-owned media and Black culture. And I'm Black and Unlimited. I was born and raised in Boulder, Colorado, to two loving parents. The neighborhood that I lived in wasn't the best neighborhood, surrounded with gangs and drugs, growing up and having to find ways to eat by, walking outside and picking up cans and then taking them into the stores and then trying to figure out how much cash you could get to eat, right? What I realized is I never wanted that life again. And what I wanted to do was not only change life for me, my immediate family, and then whoever came, our children and my children's children, I wanted them to have a better life. And so since I was young, I've been on that trajectory. My journey to become the CEO of Revolt is a really interesting one. I went to Duke at 17 years old, graduated at 21. I never knew what I wanted to be while I was in college. Second semester senior year, I took a marketing course and it was like my soul set on fire. I then ended up going to Stanford Graduate School of Business. There I did my master's in business and my master's in education. In 2014, I started working for Kathy Hughes and Alfred Liggins at Urban One. And after making that run for quite some time, to be honest, I had started to give up on Black-owned media. It felt like I was banging my head against the wall, walking into brand after brand after brand, trying to convince them the power of Black people and the power of Black culture. Meanwhile, I knew that they were all consuming it, but none of them would invest in it. And so when the opportunity with Sean Combs came along, I decided this was gonna be my last run. If I couldn't make black media work here, then I didn't think it could work. And I'm blessed, blessed, blessed that it is going incredibly well. The purpose of Revolt is to shift the narrative for black people globally. We wanna do that by building the world's largest, most powerful storytelling engine. We fundamentally believe that the war of social justice is a war on imagery and storytelling. You cannot get people to treat us differently until you get them to see us differently. And the only way you get people to see us differently is to change the dominant stories and the dominant narrative around our people. So many people are having conversations today about representation. Representation has never been the issue. It's never been the problem. We've been represented in their books, in their stories since the 1400s. We know what their stories sound like. We know that they are going to say that we are dangerous or savage or whatever that is. And so the idea is not that we need representation. We need control. And Black-owned media is the only place where Black creators can have full control over their stories. I've been working with Walmart for a long time. They have been phenomenal partners who have heard our stories, who have heard the impact that we want to make. If we can put more stories about who we truly are through our own lens, then the world will see us differently and treat us differently. At Revolt, the talent strategy for me is relatively simple. We're trying to build the biggest, dopest, baddest army of people of color, from executives all the way down. The way that people have been trying to do black is they bet on one. Now, Revolt, we're trying to bet on a thousand. There should be more than five black people in Hollywood who have the freedom to create. And so the legacy will not be just did we build a black Disney, but did we free black creators? Did we create a thousand Shondas? Did we create a thousand Jordan Peels? Did we create a thousand Issa Rays? That's how we'll know we did our job. I'm a naturally grateful person. All you have to do is look at my life. You take a kid who at three years old, four years old, didn't have a stable place to live, and you compare that now to a 41-year-old CEO who's working with an amazing team to try to build a billion-dollar Black-owned media company. What don't I have to be grateful for? I'm definitely a big believer in giving back as much as I can be a mentoring voice for so many of the like young, dope people who are coming behind us. I want to do that. Being Black and Unlimited to me means freedom, and it is in that freedom that we find who we are, and it is in finding who we are that we'll be able to change the world.